Did Miss Bueller ever use a fire hose to punish any of you? No. No, never. One moment, please. <laughs> Boy, you'd think they'd have the nerve to stand up for that guy. What a bunch of weak sisters. Bueller must have given them the old one, too. Oh, wouldn't I open my mouth if I was there? But we're not there. Right. And, and we can't go back. Right. I mean, the girl would be crazy to go back. Yeah, and serve a time all over again? Who said anything about going back? You're crazy. Of course not. I didn't say anything. Shh. Figure the cops have found the truck yet. We better make it snappy. Wish we didn't have to stop here. How else are we ever going to get the dough? You want to walk to Chicago? You go in there and give the nurse a pitch. I'll stay here and keep an eye out. Go on. Yes? I'm Loretta Wilson. You have some adoption papers for me to sign. Oh, yes, come in. My friend and I have been looking for a job with... We were wondering if the home could help us out with a little dough, just till we get located. Hmm? Oh, you sit there. I'll be right back. The parents' adoption papers are in the nursery file. When I was here before, they, they used to give the girls a few bucks just to tide them over until... Hey, I didn't want to see him. Well, he won't bite you. We call him Butchie. The nurse girl's been trying to give him a finger wave. Here, hold him while I find the papers. Here, Butchie. But... Please, you take him. I don't want him. As I remember, the couple who want him haven't any children of their own, and they're very eager. He's a contractor, I think, and both Presbyterians. And they own their own home, although there are two mortgages on it. Gosh, there's it isn't here. Must be in a more current file. I'll be back. You. What a pest you turned out to be. You'd better sit over there, brother. For Pete's sake, don't cry. Mess up my life, you get me in trouble with the cops. Right down that hall, you gave me the worst 24 hours I ever had. Now you expect me to hold you on my lap and pretend like I like you? Well, I don't. I not only don't like you, I hate the sight of you. I hate kids, always have. Where's that dame gone, anyway? Hey! Don't go fall on the floor. Cut it out. Cut it out. What a pair of lungs you've got. Just imagine having that around all the time. Just imagine. Another thing, you tell that little mother out there to quit curling your hair. You're gonna be a great big kid. You don't want anybody making a sissy out of you. Well, do you like me? matter whether you like me or not. Are you going to like that contract with the two mortgages? Are they going to like you the way you are? Are they going to dress you up all fancy and make a sissy out of you? <laughs> Gosh almighty, you feel so good.
Dr. Jason. I'm afraid we're all agreed that your charges against Mr. Riggs have been without substantiation. On the contrary, the evidence indicates that your whole con... Let go of us! Let go! Let go of me! I caught the runaways, Mr. Riggs. They caught us nothing. We were walking in on our own two feet. Gentlemen, the findings are all in. I don't think these girls can oh, add anything. can't we? These two are the worst troublemakers in the outfit. Oh, they did return to their own free will. I think we ought to hear what they have to say. In the first place, Beulah did use a fire hose on us. If you bring my so-called friend Jane in, she'll tell you the same thing. She gone near drowned. Oh, the kid's got pleurisy. You can look it up in the nurse's record. Hello? Uh, this is Dr. Jason. Yes, sir. Send the girls from reception wing to Mr. Riggs's office immediately. Yes, Dr. Jason. You have a long sentence now for running away. You know that, don't you? Well, you know how I feel about girls who lie. I don't want you to tell any rash lies about Miss Bueller and me. We'll do the interrogating, Mr. <coughs> Mr. Riggs. What is your feeling about Dr. Jason? We came back to get him out of a spot, didn't we? God makes you feel like people again. You, you don't want to see him pushed around. We're going to ask you the same things we asked you yesterday. And we want you to answer carefully, Jane. Were you punished after the fire? Go on, tell him. Yes. How, Jay? With a fire hose. Oh, come now. And Dolores, Jay. Miss Bueller was trying to scare her. She took those old sewing shears with her. Why didn't you say so yesterday? I was afraid to. Why, Jay? Miss Bueller told me not to. Just told you? Is that all she did? No. Not all. demand the arrest and punishment of the man and woman responsible for this. Well, the depot train's due in again. That means a new batch of problems. Most of our old girls are ready now for the outside. Loretta, Jane. Jackie still needs a little more time here, but she's making real progress. Goodbye. See you when you get cruel? No, I don't want to see your ugly puss again. <laughs> I'm going to get a job. In California. The home has found a nursery where Butchie can stay while I work. Gee, imagine me a working mother. Jason? 